Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have got a lot in store this morning, so let's jump right in. It has been just over a year since the sudden death of Mayor Ed Lee of San Francisco, and his life is now the subject of a documentary that will premiere soon. And here to tell us all about it is Jane Chin. She is the interim executive director of the Chinese Historical Society and the director slash sportscaster, as we all know very well, Rick Kwan. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thanks for having us. Thank all right, Rick, it's always good to see Thanks, you. Thanks, Michelle. It's your second time back. So yes. let's talk about this documentary. This is somebody so important to not only San Francisco, but the Bay Area. How did this all come about? You want to start? Well, sure. I'd love to talk about this. The day that Mary Edley died was December 12, 2017. And the tremendous grief that people felt was overwhelming. I think at the city was in shock. People were in shock. And... I know that I was um, tremendously shaken. Um, but I thought, you know, this would be great to take that energy and turn it into something positive. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese Historical Society, our mission is to preserve stories and to tell the narrative of Chinese Americans living in the United States. So wouldn't it be great to tell the story of Ed Lee? Here was a man who was just an ordinary person who rose to become the mayor of San Francisco. And um, he never asked to be mayor. But yet, he found himself in that position, and he did a great job. And I have to say, he, he left it on the field. So. Yeah, I've gotten to know Mayor Lee over the last two years from just emceeing different events and seeing him out in public. And um, I had seen Mayor Lee like two months before he passed away. I had gotten to go to China to see where he, uh, the Warriors had some exhibition games over there and got to know Mayor Lee then. And so when he passed away, I thought, well, gosh, I would like to do this documentary, but it's almost a little intimidating because he's such a high profile person. You don't want to mess it up. You don't want to mess it up. <laughs> but then the next week, Jane calls me and says, hey, Rick, we're thinking about doing a documentary. Would you consider producing it for us? And so it just seemed to be the perfect opportunity. I mean, it, he connected so well to the community. And I think people just loved him because he was just this ordinary guy in a very powerful position. That's right. Very down to earth, yeah. you know. Uh, he'd always remember your name, always come up, shake your hand. Uh, he, he never, you know, you have the stereotype of politicians kind of being a little above everybody sometimes. He wasn't like that at all. He, yeah. he was your regular guy. Well, part of uh, your research and also filming this documentary, you talked to not only a lot of people who worked um, with him, but also his family. Right. We, uh, we talked to his two daughters, uh, Tanya and Brianna. In fact, we have a little clip. Um, they kind of talk about what it's like to, to have a dad like Ed Lee. All right, let's show that clip. Ed not only fought for Chinatown, he would get married there. On June 20, 1980, he and Anita exchanged wedding vows at the Salvation Army Church on Powell Street. My mom is gorgeous. She, you know, she's gorgeous today and in her youth was, you know, uh, beautiful. And she really could have dated anybody, I feel. Uh, but I think what my dad had on everybody was just his ability to, like, make her crack up. In 1982, their first daughter, Tanya, was born. Three years later came Brianna. He was really just fun all the time. Every time he came home, like, we, like, you know, it was really delightful whenever he came home. Like, it was sort of like time for, like, lightheartedness and just, like, having fun, even though he usually came home pretty late at night. My mom did a lot of the heavy lifting of raising our family when we were young because my dad was so busy. I think, you know, we would really want him to come home for dinner. And he would say, oh, I'll be home by eight o'clock. And it was normal for eight o'clock to me midnight. It was hard. It was really hard for me. Um, and I could tell it was hard for my mom too. Well, you could tell that his daughters loved him so much. He had a very uh, close-knit family. Right. Was there anything that surprised you about his life? Anything maybe you didn't know before? <laughs> One, one thing that surprised me is how athletic he was. Mm -hmm. He played on his, uh, he was a co-captain of his college tennis team. Mm -hmm. uh, he often played quarterback when his friends would play <laughs> touch football. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't seem golfer. like the, yeah, like the football No, he wasn't guy. very tall or right. athletic looking, but he right. was quite an athlete. But apparently he had a great arm. Yep. Okay. And, and, and there's one comment from one of his uh, high school friends who said that he was a great basketball player, although he wasn't, you know, gifted in height. Sure. Yeah. 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 Well, tell me about the February 11th premiere. 
Ooh. Well, that's coming up February 11th, <laughs> yes. and we're very, very excited because it's going to be the premiere of the film. We have a VIP reception that's going to be held in the green room, and that's significant because it was during at least term that the room was refurbished. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a VIP reception there, and then it's going to be followed with um, um, uh, the film screening in the Herbst Theater, right downstairs, and we're really looking forward to it because uh, we have a friend of his, uh, Deems uh, Tuskawa, Su Sudakawa. Sudakawa, playing the piano. We have Mir uh, Breed speaking, as well as uh, Mir Brown. Uh, we'll have a full orchestra playing, and it's going to be, and we have Ben Fong Torres in conversation with Rick, yeah, yeah. besides the film. So it's going to be an action-packed night. Yeah, that is great. All right, well, we can't wait to see this labor of love. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Come back again. Okay, thanks okay. for having me. <laughs> All right, show. and don't forget the Chinese Historical Society of America will host the world premiere of the documentary, Ed Lee, on February 11th. It's at the Herbs Theater in San Francisco. And for tickets, they are available. You can go on to eventbrite.com. Coming up, Goodreads, when we return in just a moment.